Hi there, are you looking to appear for DA100 exam? Then there is a news for you. Microsoft is going to update their syllabus for DA100 exam after 29th of July 2021. So if you are planning to appear for your exam on or after of 29th of July 2021, then there is a chance that you will experience some new questions on some new topics. So in this video, I'm going to explain everything, all the changes that are going to be implemented after 29th of July 2021 for DA100 exam. And if you are not aware about the pattern of DA100 exam, what is it and what kind of questions you can expect in this exam, then I'll provide you a link in the description and also you can find somewhere above. So please don't forget to check that video. That is very important before you start preparing for your DA100 exam. And not only that, I have created a DA100 tutorial series where you will find all the videos on all the topics. So yeah, I have covered complete DA100 tutorial. So please watch all those videos before appearing for your exam. Now it comes to the updates. So stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to explain you everything but other changes and what kind of topics you can expect from that. So let's get started. If you are over here for the very first time, please consider to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest updates and videos. Let's first discuss about the skills measured in this exam. There are five types of different skills that are being measured in this exam. So whenever you are going to appear for your DA100 exam, you will get all the questions based on these five topics that you can see on your screen. The first would be prepare the data, which would be 20 to 25 percent. Second would be model the data, where you have to do the data modeling. You should be aware about the data modeling concepts, relationships, and everything. That would be 25 to 30 percent. Third would be visualizing the data. That means how you can plot the different graphs, charts, how you can use the different visualizations or how you can use the custom visualization and all. So that would be around 20 to 25%. Now comes to the number four where you have to analyze the data. That means you have to perform the different analysis on the data. Maybe you have to create certain measures or you have to use the text and all. So that would be around 10 to 15%. And the last would be deploy and maintain deliverables. That means how you can deploy your reports or publish your reports into Power BI service. What are the different actions needs to be taken in order to deliver it to the customer, how to implement the security and everything. That would be again 10 to 15%. So these are the five skills that are being measured on DA100 exam. And after clearing that exam, you would be awarded with a certificate, which is going to say that now you are a certified data analyst associate. Now you would say that, okay, those are the same skills that are previously being measured in the D100 exam. So what are the updates? What are the different changes? Well, let me explain you. On 29th of July, 2021, Microsoft is going to update their syllabus. So that means skills are going to be same, but inside the model, the data, which is 25 to 30 percent, there would be two additional topics. The very first would be under develop a data model. Under the develop a data model, you would get another topic, which is implement object level security. How you can implement the object level security in Power BI. I have already explained to you in one of my videos. So if you haven't checked that out, please go and check that out. I'll provide you the link in the description section as well. Now come to the second topic. Second topic would come from the same skill but the different section. So under each of the skills that I explained to you, the five skills, there are the different topics under each of them. And under this one model the data, there is another skill that is optimize model performance. And in this we are getting another topic which is use query diagnostics. While I created the DA100 tutorial series, I explained this topic briefly, but soon you will get another video on this where I'll explain this topic thoroughly so that you will get to know what is actually used query diagnostic, how to understand it, how to visualize it, and what are other considerations that you need to be taken care of while working with the query diagnostics in Power BI. So these are the only two topics that has been added additionally in DA100 exam syllabus, there is none of the topic has been removed or updated 
but these are the additional topics that you should be very much aware about and somewhere from one to three percent exam questions can come from these two topics so these are very important that's all those were the only updates and please join us today for more exciting videos you can join us via different mediums you can join us using youtube or instagram facebook or even you can follow us on twitter so that whenever we are posting any new videos you don't miss it thank you so much guys for watching this video i really appreciate your response and your feedback Please stay tuned with us for more exciting videos.